Hey, hey, everybody, I'm Z Garcia, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the iOS app implementation of the solitaire game Coffee Roaster. Coffee Roaster is a bag building game. It's a game in which you are going to be uh, trying to roast the perfect cup of coffee. Certain tokens representing the beans and the aroma, how robust the uh, coffee is, they're going to be put in a bag that's shaken up and you pull a certain number of them based on the round in which you are. You are then going to use some of those tokens to manipulate the contents of the bag. You can keep some coffees from roasting, so you can set some beans aside and then throw them back into the bag without their numbers going up, which means they are roasting. You can unlock special abilities for when you get to the pouring out a cup part of the of the game. You can manipulate a few things. Once you're done manipulating things for that round, every number in front of you goes up by one or two in specific rounds, and then you throw it all back in, shake it up, and pull some out. All of those things, of course, the app is taking care of you. So that's good. And uh, that's one of my positives. Probably the main positive. The game is good. Okay, that's the basic positive. The game is a good game. And then the other one is that the game takes care of what I find in the physical game to not necessarily be fun, tactile enjoyment. Some games lose something in an app implementation. Rolling dice can be fun, physically fun to do. Um... There's a few other things. You might find specific things to that, that you like doing in board games that you find enjoyable. Perhaps bag building is fun for you. And, you know, the tactile nature of reaching the bag, pulling out a certain number of tokens. But this game eliminates something that I find not that fun to do. Keeping track of the running total in the bag, which you have to do on a tracker in the physical edition. This game does that for you. And then it ticks up every token that you normally would have to then replace, physically replace, and throw in the bag. It does that for you, of course. Having said that, there's more bad than good here at the end of the day, okay? And so let me list those things. This game only has portrait mode, which means if you rotate your iPad or what have you, that will not work. It only works in portrait mode. That feels uh, archaic in many ways. There's no reason this shouldn't work both ways. But that word archaic is going to come back up again because several of the issues I have with this game are simply because the game looks and feels and is dated. The implementation of the game. The game has a dated look. This app feels old. The UI is not particularly good. It feels sluggish. It feels uh, like it is taxing itself when it, there's very little going on graphically. There has not been an update to the app in over a year, so there is that as well. There are several comments that talk about glitches in the uh, App Store. These are not game-breaking glitches. These are not. Uh, this is not anything that's going to crash the app from what I've seen playing it. But there are a couple of things that should work that don't seem to work. Okay, uh, Specific combinations. If you're trying to roast a specific coffee, folks are, are having trouble with that, all right? Uh, finally, I think the instructions included to help you learn and play the game could be a little bit better. I'd love if they would give you perhaps a, an animated tutorial, a guided tutorial, something a little bit more than just, here's a big block of text, this is what this means, this is what you should do. The big block of text floats in from the bottom, boop! And then you dismiss it, it floats all the way out. It's very, again, sluggish is a good way to put it. So overall, who do I recommend this to? Uh, solo players who already like this game, I think are going to be, for the most part, fine with this implementation. Okay? You are going to have a much easier time taking Coffee Roaster, the app, with you than Coffee Roaster, the bag building game, which is not that small. It's not a large box, but it's not that small for a solitaire game. But for the most part, I would say this is a little too rough. It seems to not really be getting attention. It seems to be perhaps they're done messing with it and updating it to really recommend it to someone who wants to discover an excellent, welcoming, enjoyable, solitaire board game turned into a nap. So 
to those people, I would say uh, there's probably a better there. There are probably better games out there that have been turned into apps that do a great job of playing solitaire. All right. So that's how I feel about Coffee Roaster as an app, an iOS app. My score for this one, because of the positives coming mostly from the source material, the board game, and the negatives coming from the implementation that I'm showing you here, it's going to go pretty much right down the middle. So I rate this a 5 out of 10. I, again, would not necessarily recommend this one to, to uh, the uninitiated, but if you like Coffee Roaster, if you want to have a portable version of it, if, uh, you know, an electronic version of it, you already know how to play, so that's not going to be a problem. Yes, it's not going to be flashy, it's not going to be shiny, but it'll work. And the gameplay is, no pun intended, robust. So there you go, 5 out of 10 for the Coffee Roaster iOS app. My name is Z Garcia, everybody. I'm going to see you on the next one.